Hey guys, just wanted to talk to you real quick. Uh, this is our 97 Suburban that we're working on today. And I just want to give you some quick pointers. We're going to replace the distributor. Chevrolet used a plastic distributor and they break a lot. Uh, the distributor cap cannot be anchored down on one side because the plastic ear is broken off and then uh, you can get water inside the distributor and then of course it quits running and leaves you stranded on the side of the road in the pouring rain. So unless that sounds fun to you, let's go change out the, the uh, distributor. So I'm going to give you some quick pointers on how to do that. Okay, so I've already got the air intake removed off of this thing and I'm going to show you Climb in here and I'll show you. Okay, so here is our distributor. Now, on this distributor, let me get some light so we can see it. Okay, hopefully that's not too bright. If you look down in this corner right here, there's a little tiny arrow, and that arrow will have either a number eight or a number six on it, indicating eight cylinder engine or six cylinder engine. You want to turn the engine over so that your rotor is pointing at that arrow before you remove the distributor. Okay, that's going to make your life a whole lot easier when you go to put the new one back in. Now, a trick that I use, instead of getting a breaker bar down on the crankshaft, which is a good way to turn the engine over, but I actually kind of cheat. I use the alternator. Um, it gives you some gear reduction. It makes the engine turn over easy. And you can spin the engine over by hand until you get that rotor lined up with the pointer. Um, your cam position sensor is inside the distributor, so you have a connector right there to remove. And the bolt is right, it has a clamp style bolt. It's going to be right there. I believe it's a 13 millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and pull that bolt out real quick and then we're going to get this distributor out of here. All right, another quick tip. You can use a regular wrench. Um, I like these crow's foots, though, because it's just right to get on that bolt and get around the base of the distributor. Don't use an extension that's too long because it'll hit the uh, cowling. And they're not super tight. So as you can see, I just cracked it loose and... Coil wire out of there and then you can just go ahead and remove it by hand three two one all right and then we're going to go ahead and take this bracket all the way out because we don't want to lose it at least i don't want to lose it All right, so this is where we go. Lord, let the oil pump shaft just come with it. Okay, we're gonna slide it on out. And the oil pump shaft did not come with it, so uh, it should still be in place in the pump, but pay attention to it. All right, so we got the distributor out, and I'll give you a close-up. You can see right here, this is the mounting point for the distributor cap and it's just completely rotted off, falling off with plastic. Same with this. Um, these distributors are pretty readily available. Most of the parts stores actually stock them because it's been a very common problem. And literally the whole unit is made of plastic. So they just, they just don't last. Alright, so I'm going to make a trip to the parts store and uh, we'll, we'll pull this new rotor off and reuse it on the new distributor and then uh, we'll get it put back together. All right, so we've been to our local parts supplier. We got our new distributor, and I have to say I'm kind of impressed. The new one is actually aluminum, so they've upgraded from the plastic to aluminum. It is an aftermarket replacement. It's not uh, AC Delco, but it has the same design. I don't know if you can see the little raised edge there for the rotor to point at. It comes with a rotor and a distributor cap. So something important I want to point out because this is aluminum your screw holes actually use machine thread. The original cap has 
uh, plastic and so the screws are a real coarse thread like almost like a sheet metal so this comes with these machine thread type screws so make sure you use the right screws when you put this thing back together and it's kind of nice the new cap even has a uh, spacer in there so you cannot over tighten the screws and break the plastic so with that said let's go put the sucker together All right, something else to note, if you've ever had problems with your oil pressure gauge uh, bouncing around and you need a sending unit, that's the oil pressure sending unit right there. So now would be a great time to change it if you've had difficulties with it. All right, so. excited there. Okay. Now sometimes you have to move it over a couple of teeth to get it to line up right and you'll you'll feel it when it drops down in there all the way and you want to look at the base. See like I can see this is not this is not fully seated yet. Okay. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. All right, and so same thing. We want to make sure our rotor is pointing because you can rotate the base a little bit. So we want to make sure our rotor is pointed right at that number eight where it belongs, and uh, get this thing put back together.